This is example number two of determining whether or not a function is odd. Here we have f of x and trig functions to be exact. f of x equals tangent of 2 pi x plus 1. The question is, is f of x an odd function? In other words, when we plug in a negative number into the function, do we get the same result as if we plug in the positive version of that number and make the fun function negative? Here's the definition of an odd function. Does f of negative x equal negative f of x. We're going to try to prove that for this particular function. Step one is going to be to simplify f of x if possible. Now I can tell you right now that adding one to the function we can't simplify that part. Well what about the 2 pi x part? Well if you recall for um, our identities uh, I don't think we have any identity that says anything about multiplying theta or x by 2 pi. Certainly not even an odd or co-function or Pythagorean or any other identity. So for this particular example, we can't really simplify what's inside as well, so we're just going to leave this function as tangent of 2 pi x, the quantity plus 1. Step 2 is to plug in negative x. That's because we have to prove does f of negative x equal negative f of x. So we're plugging in negative x in, in place of x for 2 pi x. And again, we can use some commutative properties. We can move the negative out in front of the 2 pi x, and then we can furthermore Furthermore, pull it all the way out because tangent is, let's go to the odd function identities, uh, tangent is an odd function, meaning tangent of negative pi is equal to negative tangent of pi. So in this particular case, tangent of negative 2 pi x, uh, did I say pi? I meant theta. Let's go back over here. Tangent of negative theta is equal to negative tangent of theta. So in this particular case, tangent of negative 2 pi x, we'll just call that theta, we can pull the negative out is equal to negative tangent of 2 pi x. Now notice it did nothing to the plus 1. Okay, so we've just proven that f of negative x is equal to negative tangent of 2 pi x by just basically pulling the negative out for commutative property and the negative out because tangent is an odd function. So here is our f of negative x. Let's move on and show what negative f of x is. So for step 4, determine negative f of x. In this particular case, we are going to multiply the entire function by negative 1. So in this case, that will affect the plus 1 because the plus 1 is part of the function. So we're going to end up for step 5 when we simplify, we're distributing that negative into the tangent of 2 pi x. Uh, we're distributing it actually in front of that. And we're also distributing it to the plus 1. So negative f of x is equal to negative tangent of 2 pi x minus 1. That negative ends up being distributed Whereas before, when we plugged in negative x, it did not affect the plus 1. So you can already see that there is a difference between f of negative x and negative f of x. And that difference lies in the minus 1 and plus 1. So for step 6, to compare f of negative x to negative f of x, they are not the same thing exactly. Now here's the way I want you to think about this. Okay, We know that... If we're going to get some value here, right, unless it's undefined. But, for example, let's just say if we figure all this out, we plug in an x value. Let's say we got a number here. Let's say we got 2 back. We get 2 plus 1, which is 3. Well, we're going to get the same for this part of the equation. We're going to get the same thing in the first part. We're going to get a 2 here no matter what x value we plug in. These are the same exact, um, these are the same exact values. So let's say we got 2 here on the bottom. Well, 2 minus 1 is 0. 2 plus 1 is 3. Can you see that any quantity plus 1 can never equal the same quantity in minus 1? That's never, ever, ever, ever true. So if you can see that these are just the same values for the first part, you'll see that anything plus 1 doesn't equal the same thing minus 1. In fact, you can go a step further and call this value n. And it's definitely true that n plus 1 does not equal n minus 1. And therefore, f of negative x f of negative x never equals negative f of x. So f of negative x does not equal negative f of x. So therefore, f of x is not an on function. So we've just proved, proven that tangent of 2 pi x plus 1 is not odd. Even though in our identities, right, uh, strictly tangent of negative theta equals negative tangent of theta, but we've said before that when you alter that, it can uh, end up not being odd, which we've just shown. So here's our graph of tangent, and you can see that if you flip this horizontally, let's just uh, do our arrows here again, or vertically, rather, it doesn't matter. If you flip this vertically, and then um, you take the same graph and flip it horizontally, you're not going to get the same graph. Okay, These S-curves, um, it's kind of hard to see, but if you flip it, it's going to go in this way, and you flip it horizontally, 
it won't be the same graph. I think that this, these F, this S curve in the middle would have to be um, centered around zero for there to be a chance. So anyway, if you flip it vertically and then horizontally, you're not going to end up with, you're not, you're not going to get the same graph that you started with. Another way to say it is if you flip this graph vertically, you won't get the same as if you take the same graph and flip it horizontally. You'll get, a, you'll get a, a, a two different graphs. That's it for this example of proving that this uh, trig function is not odd. If you have any of the questions about this, let me know.